Hi there, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby, and today I have some thriller recommendations for you. I'll be talking about five different thrillers that center around the missing person trope. One of my favorite thing in thrillers is to read about missing people and investigations and lies and secrets. And so like I said, I have five books I'm gonna talk about. I will link them all down below, and I'd love to hear if you've read them and enjoyed them. So let's get right into it. The first one I have to talk about is Her One Mistake by Heidi Perks, and this one I just finished this past week, and I really enjoyed it. It is about two best friends named Harriet and Charlotte, and Harriet has a daughter named Alice who is four years old, and Charlotte has three children across a variety of ages, and Harriet has never left Alice with anyone before, and she needs to take a class, so she leaves Alice with Charlotte, and Charlotte is going to take the four children to the school fair. But while Charlotte is at the fair, her kids are fine, but she actually loses Alice, and this is a living nightmare for Harriet because, like I said, she's never left her child with anyone before, and the one time that she does, she loses as her child. And even worse, in their town, a little boy went missing the year previously and he never was found and no one know who took him. So the police and the families are worried the same person took Alice as well. And the town is starting to villainize Charlotte because she was watching Alice when she went missing and everyone is blaming her and basically putting her under a microscope. And she's lost her best friend Harriet because Harriet also blames Charlotte. But as police investigate and we see both of their lives, we start to notice that Harriet and her husband's marriage isn't as awesome as everyone thinks it is and one of them knows something about Alice's disappearance and we get to unravel what happened. And this one I found really twisty and really engaging. It didn't bring anything particularly new to the table but I really loved the spin on this really common trope. The next one I have to talk about is The Night Before by Wendy Walker and this one just came out a couple of months ago and I read one other book by this author called Emma in the Night and I thought it was just okay but I absolutely loved this one. And this follows a woman named Laura who doesn't really have her life together. She lives in the city and she had a recent really bad breakup. So she decides to move in with her sister Rosie who is married and has a child and she vows to be more like her sister and kind of get her life together. And Laura decides to go on a blind date with someone she met online and she never comes home from her date so the next morning Rosie is worried that Laura is missing. And she's not only worried for Laura's safety, she's also worried for Laura's date's safety. And we're wondering why she's worried for that date. And so we're following two different perspectives. We're following Rosie currently looking for her sister, but we're also following Laura counting down while she's on the date until it gets later and later until she disappears. And this one I thought was so good. It was twisty, everything was well-timed, and it was really fast-paced, and that's what I really enjoyed about this one. The next one I have to talk about is The Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda, and this one follows a woman named Leah who is having some trouble in her personal life, so she decides to make a change and move away from Boston. And right before she moves, she reconnects with one of her old friends named Emmy. Emmy and Leah used to be roommates, so they decide to move away from Boston and become roommates again in a small town and kind of create new lives. But not long after they move to their new town, a woman is attacked nearby and the town is pretty much up in arms by what is going on. And coincidentally, after that happens, Leah's roommate Emmy goes missing and it takes her a few days to notice because they work on different schedules. And when she finally goes to the police, they ask for some information about Emmy and Leah realizes she really didn't know her roommate at all and she starts to question if Emmy told her just a bunch of lies or if she really is missing and she's curious if it has anything to do with the attack of this woman in town. I really like Megan Miranda's writing. I think she crafts a story so well and I was really invested in these main characters. I didn't particularly love half of the ending but I still thought it was such a solid thriller and I would highly recommend it. The next one I have to talk about is Missing Daughter by Rick Mofina, and I never hear anyone talk about this, and I don't know why because it is really good. It's a rather long mystery, but it goes by really quick, so if you see the high page count, don't be discouraged. This is about a married couple named Karen and Ryan, and they go out on a date night and leave their two kids at home with a babysitter. They have a son who is 12 and a daughter who is 13, and when they come home from the date, the mom goes and checks on the kids, and both of them are sound asleep in their beds. But by morning, their 13-year-old daughter named Maddie is missing, and her window, I think, was left open, and they have no idea what happened to her. They're not sure if she was a runaway or if someone came and took her, and police are thrust into this investigation to find Maddie, this little girl. Half of the book, we're following the investigation, and the second half is a few years later in a time jump, and we follow basically this family years after her disappearance, and of course, these two timelines intersect. I really enjoyed this one, and I definitely think it was worth the high page count. 
The last one I have to talk about is Date Night by Samantha Hayes. I also recently read this one and it is a brand new release. This is about a married couple named Libby and Sean and they are having some difficulty in their marriage. Libby is suspecting that Sean is cheating on her and he decides to take her on a date night to kind of smooth things over and ease her mind. And they leave their child at home with their babysitter Sasha who is a teenage girl. When they get home they discover that Sasha is not at their house and Sasha left their child alone which is pretty alarming. But also even worse is Sasha left all of her items including all her study materials and her phone and that really isn't like her so that leads them to believe that something suspicious went on in their house and so an investigation is put into place to find this babysitter and everyone in this story kind of seems untrustworthy and you're wondering who is involved in Sasha's disappearance so those are five missing person thrillers I have to recommend for you guys. I would love to hear what you guys have to recommend in this subgenre. I will link all these books down below and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye!